Hi there, Ash from Lewis here, and in this video, I'll be showcasing a brand new feature that we've just released into Numisma for e-signatures in relation to our self-assessments, just in time for the busy tax season. So let's just jump straight into it. So on screen here, we've got our self-assessment client list, and I can see all of my clients and the work statuses that each of them are in. So Ash Hall here is in question S sent, so I'm just going to drill down into that tax return. And let that load. There you go. And then on this screen, uh, I will need to go to communications. So once the tax return has been produced, you're happy with it, you may have validated the uh, submission before you send it to your client just to make sure it will go through successfully. Um, but then in the top right hand corner, you have the ability to select e site. And by doing so, it will prompt you to either enter your own email or select our email signature. Now, whatever email you send here, it will need to have this e-signature link as that will automatically be populated within the email so that your client will be able to click it and then e-sign the documents. Okay, so I'm gonna send that to my email address, ashh2. And then I've got my attachments here that I can enclose within the email as well. And then I'll just select send. And I'm just going to pause this because now I'm going to open up my emails and bring that across to the screen. Okay, great. So that email has now just come through to my personal email address. I've got the three attachments at the top there. And then also in the body content, we've got the two documents that your client would need to sign. So if I se select the link here, it will take us to uh, a third party supplier called SignEasy, who we've used for this official integration. There's no additional charge for that, so you can make the most of it. And here, it will take your client directly to the signature section. So they can either draw, type, or they can upload a signature themselves. So we'll just select one of the standard ones and then enter a date as well, which will default to today's date. And then we can finish signing that, and I agree. That will then save the document Great. And then your client will be able to go back to the second link. And on the second link, they would be prompted to sign that and date that as well. Okay, so signature. And again, we can type it and then date and finish signing. Okay, so that's just saving. And once that's done, now that they've both been signed, I can go back to the web application and within the document section, it would just take a moment to come through. Let me just pause it here. Okay, great. Now the documents are appearing there. Uh, it just takes a, a minute or two for them to be stored within the document section. But then at any time you can go in and you can select the summary or the full form and download that, view it on screen, um, but you'll also be able to see the signature and the date that your client has put on it. There you go, so signature and date. And within the dashboard, the work status will actually be updated to approved, and you'll see that within your system, so on the screen here, this work status will be approved. So now, once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and send it to HMRC. Uh, I hope you find this useful. If you do have any questions, any queries, or any suggestions, please feel free to get in touch with our support team on support at namisma.co.uk or 020 3021 2326. Thank you. Bye.